Hey man, welcome back to the Super Divorce YouTube channel. Nicholas Villar is here, aka Super Divorce, and tonight we're going to try out this game called Fear Creek. November 21st, 2003. When his parents left on a vacation, Nathan was left with the responsibility of staying home alone. This was until his uncle Eric arrived from the airport. Looking around here. Bag. Is that Uncle Eric's bag? Just checking outdoors here. We got a nice, nice summery evening. The flag, the sprinkler going. Soft, warm lights lighting up the suburban streets. Street lamps glowing in the distance. Everything looks nice and cozy here. Let's go back inside. Kind of reminds me of, uh, oh, oh God, when was the last time I cleaned the kitchen? The atmosphere reminds me a little bit of uh, the atmosphere in, in the, uh, I think it was the first Fears to Fathom game. I think that was the first one. This should go in the sink. Whoop. Oh, there you go. We made it. Taos. 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 Hey, look at that timing. As soon as that last dish went in. Hold on, let me look outside. Well, he looks professional enough. Hey there, kiddo. How's my favorite nephew doing? Great. How was your day? I was pretty busy at work, but I'm happy to be here now. I'm going to take a shower if that's okay. Uh, sounds good. If you need anything, just tell me. You got it. I was on a big long flight. Now it's time for a shower. You've got it. You got it. We look around in this house a little bit. Here's a What happened to the garage door? That doesn't look good. Someone needs to fix that. We don't even have a garage door button in here. What a sparse looking garage. How does this garage door work anyway? Usually your garage door uh, has a track up on the ceiling in the garage where it would roll on up and then be stationed up here when you've got the garage door open. This, this one does not work that way. Maybe it goes straight up into a, a slot compartment in the actual uh, uh, facade of the house enough of that what's this room whoa we pushed ourselves backwards there what is this room here i can't see a damn thing i don't know what's going on there what was that did you hear that it was like a static noise. Now, I hear water tinkling. So maybe our uncle's in uh, this room taking a shower. Could be that he's letting the shower run while he takes a shit. So we don't hear the shit sounds. Maybe that would be embarrassing for him. Look at this uh, nice painting we've got. It looks nice and expensive. Probably a w fairly well-off family that we're a part of. What's this book? Butterfly. Home Sweet Home Magazine. And then this, this kind of old photograph there. I don't know what that is. It looks ominous though. Good evening. I'm Connor Fallon. No, and that's George Stephanopoulos. A special report on a concerning development Where's in he the going? Benton neighborhood. Oh. According to recent reports, there have been multiple cases of missing persons over the past few weeks, leaving the community in a state of anxiety and uncertainty. One local resident who has been actively involved in addressing this issue is Sarah, who has been a resident of the Benton community for over two decades. In a recent interview, Sarah expressed her apprehension about the frequency of these disappearances and the need for the community to take proactive measures in addressing the issue. It is alarming to think that individuals can simply vanish without a trace. 
This is happening too frequently in our neighborhood, and it is time for us to take this matter seriously. The families of these missing persons are understandably concerned and worried, Sarah stated. The police have confirmed that they are investigating each case of a missing person, however, as of yet, no leads have been found. Consequently, the Benton Boulevard community remains on high alert, with many taking extra precautions to ensure their safety. We will continue to monitor this situation closely and bring you updates as they become available. In the meantime, this is Connor Fallon reporting for International News Network, reminding viewers to remain vigilant and support one another during these uncertain times. That's not Con 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 Connor Fallon at all. That's George Stephanopoulos. And I don't like his sign off. I never want to hear uncertain times again. After 2020 and 2021, remember that? Every single commercial you saw on TV. In these uncertain times. In these uncertain times. It's an ad for Candyland. In these uncertain times. We understand. Kids are playing checkers. What is it? It's an ad for spam in these uncertain times. It's an ad for feminine hygiene products. We understand that in these uncertain times. Uh, what's in here? A safe bed. Nothing we can interact with. This looks like mom and dad's room. There's a painting. Look, that's the same painting over there. What a weird family. What a weird family, eh? They got the same painting up in multiple locations in the house. They got a grandfather clock that doesn't seem to be working. This is us, Noah. He's got a desk. No computer. This is like an old school, kind of like 90s, big-ass computer desk. Got one of these myself for my Packard Bell computer. Windows 95. Works just fine. Works great. Check out. Oh, I can't I can't even read the books. I'm so sleepy. Maybe we can walk in here and have a nice shit before bed. Unfortunately, we can't do that. We can't uh, interact with the toilet. And we also appear to be a vampire. We're playing as a vampire. No reflection. No reflection cast. Time for sleep, though. Let's have a lay down. Press the V button to sleep. And here we are. We're, we find ourselves in the midst of a dream where we... We seem to be, we can't get out. We're stuck in a subway. And I'll meet the sandwich shop. Now, it'd be one thing if we could walk over here, you turn around, and there's a big make line. You could walk up and order yourself a oh, cold cut combo, a meatball sub. What is this? We got a text. Uncle's flight got delayed. What? What do you mean? Why are you so surprised? He is in the house, I say. I think that's me. Don't joke with me. I swear to God, I'm not joking. Where is he earning right now? Lock yourself. I am getting the gun, I say. Okay. Let's get the gun. Make sure he's not hiding. He's not hiding in our... Wait, now, so... So that wasn't really my uncle that we let in. That was some other guy. A look-alike? I mean, surely we have to know what our uncle looks like. What could it be? Is it a shape-shifting kind of alien scenario? Or does our uncle have a... A secret twin brother? What's happening here? Why did he just come in and take a shower? And go to bed like he's... Like he just wants to hang out. He just wants a place to stay. This doesn't seem like something that a person with nefarious plans would do to come in, make themselves at home, take a shower, head to bed. We head to bed. No signs of anything strange happening. I, 
I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what I do know is we got several copies of occultism. Several copies of creatures of the sea. Several copies of mathematics and geometry. Uh, the same books over and over again. And then look at this. Uh, what a What a shitty book collection. What a shitty library Noah has. The same books over and over again filling up this shelf. Not even all the way. And then this one's completely barren. You don't even have a computer for your desk over here. You got some pencils. No signs of paper. This is a weird family that we're dealing with here. One of the weirdest I've seen in video games yet. What was that? I heard tippy toes running around. squared up for a, for a, he was squared up for a fucking fist fight oh shit that really got me but then it's hilarious because he's <laughs> he came in he posed as our uncle he helped himself to a nice <laughs> a nice hot shower uh, he waited for us to go to sleep Oh, look at this back here. He boarded up the door. <laughs> and then he waited at the bottom of the steps for us to wake up in the night. So that uh, he'd be able to square up and have a fist fight. Uh, what a shocking ending. That's something else. That <laughs> might... Oh boy. Look at him. Just squaring up. He's got the dukes up there. He wasn't waiting with a knife. We didn't wake up with our hands tied, you know, bound and gagged or, uh, or with gasoline all over us with him holding a match, getting ready to set us on fire. This guy, for whatever reason, uh, pulled off a very convincing cosplay of our uncle, intercepted him, uh, well, posed, posed as him. He somehow, I guess he figured out that our uncle's flight was delayed. He knew all of this. He showed up dressed as our uncle. He said, I'm going to, tonight's the night. Tonight's the night that I board up someone in their house. And we're just going to have a knockdown, drag out fight, man. Just a knockdown, drag out brawl. All right. Fear Creek. Uh, maybe I can try and get a different outcome here. What if I just leave that door open? When's the last time I clean? Let's, let's clean up real quick. Remember, we just got to toss these plates on in and the cuppies there he is the door is closed and this time we know exactly what he wants to do he's here where did he get the where did he get the with the wooden planks and all this shit now now it's stuck now the game's stuck now the game won't work He's just staring at us. Okay, so we've got the fist fight ending. We've got the uh, stare at each other, staring contest forever ending that we've got now. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna restart the damn thing. Cause, okay, it's a new game, probably uh, glitchy. I think the, the person who made this said it was their first game ever, so we'll cut him a little slack because of how, <laughs> the, 
just that one two I mean, speaking speaking of fist fights what a one two punch that ending was to just jab with that fucking startling out of nowhere uh, around the corner uh, appearance greeting me at the bottom of the steps and then then hilarity ensues because he's not he's not there to strangle me he's not there to stab me he's not there to electrocute me he's just there to to say put him up we're gonna fight this is a fight all right so now his dialogue's working again he's gonna go take a shower all right he showered he dressed himself again put back on his like nice suit and tie i wonder if we have to to listen to the george stephanopoulos report we might have to to get sleepy i guess we do all right fine go back downstairs we'll listen to what do you call himself fairweather fallon fairweather connor connor mc fallon Good evening. I'm go. Connor Fallon. Connor and tonight Fallon. we bring you a special report on a concerning development in the yeah. Benton neighborhood. According to recent reports, I'll just go upstairs. Of missing persons over the past few weeks, leaving the community. Yeah, I see my eyes are getting blurry there. Just hop in bed. There we go. All right. In so you don't have to listen to the whole spiel. You can just head upstairs get through your damn subway dream i don't know what this has to do with anything maybe this was where the uncle was accosted could be maybe our uncle was taken hostage at the at the subway whoa and we hmm that was a different way uh to end the dream than what we saw the first time it fell through the floor all right so here he is uh mom or dad texting us and oh your uncle's flight's delayed wait there's someone there who claimed to be your uncle you better fucking get the gun man listen pitter patter of little feet Guessing the gun is in the safe. Now what do we do? I just get one shot. I don't see him. I've got the gun. Damn, no more bullets. There he is. Well, what do I do? The door's all boarded up. How am I going to get out? What the shit? Damn, no more bullets. Give me some more. If he comes up here again... That's just going to be... I'm trying to get the gun again. I can't do anything. Is there a phone I can use to call the, uh, the police? Something? Damn, no more bullets. Okay, well what... What now? What now, no more bullets? Go back to sleep. Go take a nice hot shit. Hide out in the shower. Hide under the bed. No. I'm just looking for something I can interact with here. What in the world? I don't want to just walk down the steps and have him be standing there. Like I'm some kind of dumbass. 
Like, go out the window, kid. Bust the stand one. Look at that. Nice flat surface you could jump out onto. And what do we do? We put the gun away. You don't even keep it out as a deterrent. Look at him. He's waiting right there. Is he running from us because he's scared, maybe? What is our fake uncle doing? Ah! Fucking... Now it looks like he's just shaking his ass right in our face. Um, I don't really know. Um, I don't know what else to do about that. So you, you scare him off. You fire the shot to scare him off. You don't have any more shots. And then uh, he goes downstairs, he waits. As soon as you start going down, then he comes back up. You fall down and he shakes his ass on top of you. He's doing like kind of this motion as he shakes his ass right in your face. The door's all boarded up. You can't run right for the door. Um... I'll try one more thing. It's probably going to be bullshit and uh, and do the, the glitch all over again. So here we go. We'll, we'll start it all over again. We'll, we'll run over here. We'll grab our dishes. Oops. Okay. I couldn't throw it far enough. All right. Who left all this food mess anyway? Mom and dad? <laughs> Ding dong! Hey there, kiddo! Great! Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. You can come in, take a shower. You got it. Go ahead and do it. Now we'll go watch George Stephanopoulos on the local television Good set. Evening. I'm Connor Fallon. Run upstairs. A special report Maybe we go through this. In the Benton neighborhood. According to recent reports, like, I don't know where that leads to, though. Is that the back door to the house? Weeks, leaving the community in a state of anxiety Perhaps we can get out. Who have been Maybe that's why they did that. Maybe that's the secret escape hatch. You have to beat him to the punch. You got to run down the hall. Sarah expressed her and uh, if I can roll under the garage door, to take the broken garage door. The issue. All right, let's it go to bed. To think that can go night, night. A trace. Have our little subway dream. There's like someone whispering sweet bullshit to me right now. I don't know what that's all about. Again, my best guess. This bad guy comes from the subway. I don't know what he's doing or why. Other than he just wants to fist fight someone. He wants to shake his ass on someone's face as he knocked them down and scared them in the night. Okay. What do you mean? What do you mean? When I'm running out of time, what do you mean? There's all our books. Okay, now let's go get the gun. I hear his tippy steps down there. He's already got the door boarded up. All right. Where'd my dad put the gun? In his gun safe. No. Damn, no more bullets.
sorry. I'm sorry about all this, but uh, I'm not going to chunk this up. I'm not chunking it up. We're going to have to sit through it. I know it's horse shit. I get it. But it's late. Uh, it's late, and I'm going to be real with you. I don't want to edit this video. This video is not... I'm not chunking it up to cut through this all again. You're going to... If you want to see what happens, you can skip ahead, or you can sit here with me and suffer through. I, I mean, it's got to be that you need to get to the back broken garage door. That's got to be it. There's, there's no other option. There's no other option. There's nothing else to do. Now, what did I do wrong? Do I have to wait for him? Do I have to just stay up here and uh, and wait? Or do I make a break for it? My sprint doesn't really do shit. It's a very weak sprint. Good evening. I'm Connor Fallon. It feels like it barely works. Special report on a concerning development in the Benton neighborhood. The sprint. It makes you go mildly faster. It's like a, a brisk walking pace. Over the past few weeks. Oh, go on in here, Noah. Take your little sweet nap. One local resident who has been active. Okay, and we'll go down here. Go on. Go on, run it out, jog it out, jog your ass on down the subway uh, corridor. And then fall through the ground and wake up in a state of panic as you get the text message from someone in your family that your uncle's flight has been delayed, actually. And the man in your house is not who he says he is. The person in your house is, uh... Prize fighter... Um... Marciano, uh, Marciano Florentine, famed prize fighter Marciano Florentine, after being expelled from his local fight league, hatched, devised a plan where he would uh, sneak into someone's home and force them into an all-night fisticuffs extravaganza no more bullets there he is motherfucker is he really gonna try to just run up here go around the damn corner I'm just gonna run for it Go, fucking go. Go, go, go. Just get out. Is this how I do it? Ha! I was right. I was right. And the police show up somehow. Oh. Whoever texted me must have phoned the police. Made by Japan. Well, the entire country came together to make Fear Creek for us. Thank you to all the people of Japan for this very unique experience in video gaming. Fear Creek. Presenting one of the most absurd moments that I've ever seen in a video game. And so I'm going to give this game... Well, let me let me break it down visually. Uh, I like the mood. I like the atmosphere. That was pretty good. There wasn't much to interact with. The assets, the books, the empty feel and vibe to the house just felt kind of lazy. Felt like it should. It could have been much better. The game could have been like pretty legit with a bit more attention to detail, some more, uh, just, just some more warmth to the decor, to the design, not repeating books, not repeating paintings, 
people don't do that. People don't put up the same painting multiple times across their house. Most people don't. Uh, so that it just felt off. It felt weird. If that's what Fear Creek was supposed to feel like, if it was supposed to sort of conjure up these feelings, oh, something's off here. But it wasn't really like that. It was, it was more like something's off. They didn't put enough time into certain aspects of this game. Like the, the little dishes part. When you're picking up dishes, I think you could have extended the gameplay a little bit. Given the player a little bit more to do, some other chores in the house to accomplish. Uh, you know, just stuff to make it feel more alive, more lived in. But hey, that's that's just my opinion. And then you pick up the gun. You fire a warning shot, I guess, to scare him away. I don't know. It seems like seems like you just uh, keep the gun out at least as a, a scare tactic. You might have scared him away because again, he didn't want to. It didn't seem like he wanted to kill you. It just he's either fists up or he's dancing at, at you like this, you know, or he's bobbing his head at you. A very silly kind of uh, uh, antagonist here in this game. Very silly. I'm going to give it 450 super divorces out of a possible 1,000 super divorces. And if you would like to try it out for yourself, there's a link in the description below. All right. That's it. If you haven't done so, please sub to this channel. Bong the gong for notifications so you know when new videos go live, so you know when I go live. Stop by and chat sometime. Shoot the shit, talk some shit, whatever you want. Like this video, comment below. Questions, concerns, requests, whatever you want. The comment section is your oyster. So crack it open, slam it down your throat, and, and hey man, wash it down with a nice frosty mug of cocktail sauce. Follow me on Twitter at SuperDivorce, on Instagram at SuperDivorceBand. And I also play music from time to time. So if you want to check out some Super Divorce tunes, you can do that on Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, wherever you stream your horse shit, you can find Super Divorce. Type in Super Divorce. Pick a song of your choosing. See what you think. If you don't like it, try another one. Try another one again. I think there's something there for everyone. So give it a shot, please. That's all I got for right now. Till next time, everyone. Take real good care. Keep kicking ass. Love you lots. Lord willing, I'll be back very soon with another video for you to watch. Uh, bye bye.